Hi, Amy here. I'm going to show you a quick tutorial on filling a font to use in the Silhouette Studio software. I do have the designer edition, so I have the sketch feature. First, I'm going to duplicate my font. Now, I'm going to go to the sketch feature down here. Sorry, I'm trying to look through my phone. I should just look over. I'm going to fill it with these. And then, so you can see it's filled for some reason. Now I'm going to add my duplication on top. And I'm going to group these. Okay, now I'm going to go over to transform. This is so that the lines will be closer together because watch when I shrink this. Watch how far apart the lines go. You can see how far apart. We don't want them that size. We want them bigger. So we're going to go over here to transform. Select this little arrow here. We're going to make it at 300%. See the lines are nice and staying far apart. Going back to sketch, release effects. Now back to transform and watch this magic. Going back to 33%. Look how close the lines are together. Now I'm going to Shrink it. Okay, this is what I cut my template out of. We're going to go over to the machine in a little bit. But um, this is a quarter inch. I'm going to get it right here. Wow. These are quarter inch by six inches. They're cuff bracelets. So let's shrink this little bugger here so that it fits into my tiny bracelet. A little more. Oops. It's not easy holding a phone and doing this at the same time. Okay, now I want to center it, which is also on the transform because I want it centered on my bracelet. I've already, like I said, I cut this the shape out. You can't really see it because I have my bracelet on here already. But now I know exactly where to line it up. See, it's under there. Sorry, this is scrap paper, so it's looking a little rough. <laughs> All right, popping the Chamas Creations engraving tip into the Cameo 4. Now, I'm going to show you real quick, too. Some of these, because they're thicker, like this tag is up a little higher, it might leave lines. So I raise this up in my machine just a little for, you can see there are, is an extra edge etched into here. And I'm just gonna go between the two edges, just and lock it in place. And now I am going to, well, let's go back over here. I wanna show you, this is set to uh, no cut, my template, because I don't want it to scratch anything. I'm going to set this to sketch and, oops, I did the wrong one, sorry, uh, sketch and pen. I have it on 33, I have it on 10, I'm going to make two passes and watch what happens when we send it on over. I do not know what I just did. Give me a second. I think I was trying to save it. I didn't want to save it. And I'm not starting the job <laughs> this whole video over. So, one and done. Now, keep in mind that it's only a quarter inch. And look how it stays right. If you have the template, it's so easy to line up. I'm not going to take all the time to show this engraving. Get an idea of what it's doing. All right, I hope you enjoyed.